What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. So in the previous video, we've set up our survey. I showed you what it looks like and we've kind of created everything we need to to get our survey up and running. In this video, I want to finish it off a little bit by showing you how to use the Facebook pixel with the survey because it's, it's going to be extremely powerful. What this will allow you to do is to capture information on Facebook uh, as to some of the answers that some of the users put in. So for example, if I want to capture, you know, people into four groups based on who said apples, who said oranges, who said bananas, who said mangoes, I can do that with the Facebook pixel, all right? So first thing we'll need to do, let's get started. Uh, let's put in our Facebook pixel onto this page, all right? So I'm just going to go back. Uh, okay, let me just save just in case. So let's go back and let us put in the pixel. Uh, if you're not sure how to put the Facebook pixel and how to work around with it, uh, check out my 15 minute video on Facebook pixels, which covers absolutely everything you need to know on how to set up pixels, okay? Uh, but we'll just do a portion of that. So I'm just going to do that here. So let's go to, uh, let's go to my ad account. And let's go to pixels here. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to take the code again as we did in that video. So let's take this that pixel code, copy code to clipboard, and we need to put that into the head code, the head section of our website. So if you're using ClickFunnels, it's going to be right here. Uh, head tracking code, and let's just put that here. Okay, so I, I just deleted everything else I had there just uh, to be safe, and let's just go over this. So I will save and update. And now I have the pixel set up, okay? So now what I need to do is I need to actually go to this page and edit things within this page. So I need to go here. I need to go into triggers. I will go into this new trigger. And so let's say what we want this pixel to trigger on, right? What kind of answer do we want our pixel to fire and to create a group for? So let's say, for example, I, I want my pixel to fire when people say Apple. So I want to have four different kind of pixel firings, four different groups. I want it to be for apple, for oranges, for banana, for mango. I want to have four different audience groups to whom I'm going to retarget to later. And I can retarget those people and I can make a lookalike on Facebook. Okay, so incredibly powerful. Not only will you actually target these people, but you will also target people that are similar to these people that actually answer your survey and that are interested in this. Okay, maybe not interested, but that are, that are um, similar somehow. Uh, to that audience which you have, okay? So in this case, Apple. So something they'll have in common. So let's say Apple here. So when people answer Apple, our Facebook pixel will fire, okay? So let's name this uh, Apple pixel or Apple pixel, okay? So there you go. So now what we need to do, uh, we're pretty much done on this part. Let's go back to our Facebook ads manager uh, and let us, okay. So let's see. Yeah, okay, so what you would do is you would uh, refresh the page. It should show up for you uh, this new um, option here, CF survey. So as, as, you, as you can see, there's no action here yet. So we'll need to, uh, let's answer this question actually. Let's say Apple because we need it to fire. Okay, so I'm just going to preview. What I'll do is, is I'm actually not going to preview. I will just copy this link, this URL, and I'll put it in a new page. And now I'll click on Apple, okay? That should already be enough. Well, oops, all right, got stuck a bit. So me clicking Apple should already be enough to trigger that Facebook pixel, okay? So that, that Facebook pixel should show up there automatically. That CF click funnels, that should show up there, this one, uh, CF survey, okay? So now if I hit refresh, I should see some pixel activity. So let's see. Let's see if we will see some activity. And, Okay, let's click on view. Yes, so right now it is 652. It doesn't show up there, but it is right now 652. And the pixel that's firing is this Apple pixel, okay? So perfect, it is working. This It is indeed the 23rd. It is indeed 652 as of right now. So that pixel is properly firing, okay? And apparently it did so a few times, right? Because we've done it a few times, right? We've clicked Apple several times. Perfect, so it is working perfectly now. Um, it doesn't show anything here as well, but again, if you click here, it should show it. Okay, so now we need to actually create the audience on Facebook, right? And what I'll do is I'll go on create audience here on the top left. Uh, I will go on custom combination. I will go on event. So choose event. So it's going to be CF survey. 
and we will add a parameter. So the parameter will be name. So click on that contains. And now what we need to do is we need to just copy that name that we put here. So let's go back to triggers. Uh, let's see this new trigger, by the way, you can, you can rename this. So say, you know, Apple pixel firing, uh, so we can rename it, right? Cause we'll have a few more later on. And now what we can do is let's take that and add value, put that there. Okay. And say in the last, I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, say in the last, I think maybe 180 days and let's name an audience. Okay. So this is, um, you know, Apple lovers or whatever it is, right? Indicate somehow that this is for people that selected Apple on your, uh, on your question. Right. And now we'll create audience. Okay, so now uh, that audience should show up. So let's just do one more, just just again, just to solidify and make sure we understand this, right? Uh, and then uh, we're going to go back and I'll show you what it's going to look like and how to actually create an ad of that. So let's go back and let's uh, let's add a trigger as well. And let's name this, uh, say, Orange Lovers. And for this one, what we'll do is, what fruit do you like? It's going to be for people that like orange. We will say yes for Facebook Pixel. And let's say Orange Pixel. Okay, and now we will create another audience, custom combination, event, CF survey, name. So the name of it should be this one, right? That's the name that's linked. So let's put that there. Again, this doesn't matter because um, if, if we're just doing it right now, uh, well, it would matter if you had this survey set up already and you had a Facebook pixel on, then this would matter. Aside from that, if you didn't have a Facebook pixel or you didn't have a survey set up, really it doesn't matter in the, in the last few days something happened because there's no data, okay? So don't worry about this too much. So for this one, we could say orange lovers, okay? And we'll create audience and we'll do the same thing for every single other category you want. And now what we can do is if I go into audiences, um, you should see those two audiences that you can target, right? And they're going to add up as you get more traffic, these audiences are going to add up. So right now, obviously it's too small, but eventually as you get more and more, you'll be able to target them and you'll be able to make lookalike. So if you get, I would say a good number for lookalike is about a thousand people in a specific country. After you do that, you'll be able to make a lookalike, right? Check out the video on lookalike audiences to know how to do that. But um, if you then want to target those people, uh, what you would do is when you're making a campaign in the ad set level, uh, what you would do is you would go to edit. And for this option here, uh, you would go to, let me see where it is, uh, custom audiences here. Okay. So let's delete that. And over here, you would pick orange lovers or apple lovers, and you can target them, right? These are, so this is how you would target those specific people. If you're making a lookalike, you would see, you know, you would create your lookalike and you would make it there. But that's basically it. And that's how you would do it. So incredibly powerful, guys. Like, you know, the amount of information that's available nowadays, it's crazy, right? You can literally target people that are answering on your survey that's not connected to Facebook at all. It's crazy. It's um, really, it's, it's invasion of privacy, to be honest. Uh, but you know what? Can't can't live without Facebook. Can't live with it, right? Um, so so that's about it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We do cover a lot of different online marketing tools on this site, such as reviews, how tos, videos such as these where you learn how to do X X X, something that will help you in your online marketing field. Things that that are helping me. Uh, are, are things that I'm, you know, showing you and things that I'm learning along, I'm sharing with you guys. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.